Any discussion over the flaws and merits of Mesut Ozil is a delicate operation. Not every footballer has to run a marathon to have a good game, and too often abstract notions of effort, heart and passion are piled up against the Arsenal midfielder. On the flip side, his positive contributions can be ignored or forgotten. It's rare that subtlety and nuance find a place in the frantic reactions that follow the disappointment of a defeat. It didn't help the playmaker in his post-match reviews against Mexico that he was effectively left as the last line of defense as Irving Lozano struck home the winning goal to beat Germany 1-0. He stood in the middle of the chaos, overwhelmed and overrun in the gap where a defender should have stood as Joachim Lowe's side buckled at the back. Germany aren't used to losing their opening games at a major tournament and already the mood has turned sour over World Cup 2018. Where were the fullbacks and what had happened to the team and their structure? Never mind that Ozil had busted gut to try and protect Manuel Neuer when no one else bothered to retreat, it was a moment that will now count against him. It is so often the case. Ozil being damned for failing to do a job that is not his own on the pitch. However, in this instance it was hard to find too many positives to point out in his favor. It is true that Germany failed on a collective level. There was a complacency about the 2014 World Cup winners. Marvin Plattenhardt seemingly refused to track Mexico back. A luxury that can be afforded to a forward. The RB Leipzig player was the left back. Mesut Ozil hits a pass for Germany against Mexico. Image, Hector Vives, Getty Images, Timo Werner didn't provide the movement that many expected from one of the fastest and brightest strikers in the Bundesliga. Sami Kadira was stationary in midfield as the Mexicans charged by. Tony Cruz was not the player you want to try and screen a defense all on his own. What was Ozil meant to be picking out if the runs weren't there to feed? It's a similar conundrum that has divided Arsenal fans for years. On so many occasions, caveats can be found to excuse or support the former Real Madrid midfielder. It's true that he needs his team to perform in order for him to have an influence on games. For those who demand that the most elite players grab games by the proverbial scruff of the neck, as Cristiano Ronaldo did in Portugal's 3-3 draw with Spain, Ozil will never reach the standard expected of him and his reputation. It's easy for his supporters to dismiss these critics and their complaints as Neanderthals with no football knowledge. Never mind those awful exit bangers from the final days of Arsene Wiener's reign. The level of debate between the two camps over Ozil can be as bad as anything from the two extreme ends of the leave and remain spectrum. There is another way of looking at Ozil and his flat performance versus Mexico. On one level, he did the right thing, if only on a theoretical level. He dropped into spaces that should have been awkward for his opponents, between the wings and the center of the park, where the likes of Kevin De Bruyne hunt for chances in the Premier League. Mexico dominated Germany's midfield, including Mesut Ozil. Image, Matthias Hengst, Getty Images, not that he was able to make much of an impression on the game from these areas. It was Tony Cruz who was unleashing the killer's balls from behind Germany's attacking line, or at least trying to. Even though Ronaldo grabbed the headlines in the Portugal game, Spain's trio of André Siniesta, David Silva and Isco all shown for the 2010 champions, playing with their brains rather than brawn. It isn't fair to ask Ozil to play like Steven Gerrard at his peak, no. But surely if he is to justify his place for the national team and Arsenal, he needs to be able to show up like those three highly technical players so often do. Anai Emery has told fans that he wants to build an Arsenal side that play possession football and press to win the ball. In his first press conference as head coach he told Ozil, he's one of the biggest talents here at Arsenal and I want talented players here. I want to spend time with him and all of the players. I want to speak to them all on a level, I want to speak to them about how inspired and excited I am to be here and I want them to feel that as well. 
Above all, I think this is a wonderful project and we all need to give 100%, that's what I'm looking from every player and from myself, Ozil is a player who can struggle when his team is unable to play to the plan and make use of his wonderful eye for a pass and skill at making an angle work. Maybe Emery is a coach who can finally give him the sort of structure to reduce the workload and limit his responsibilities, as Jose Mourinho did at Real Madrid. Under the Portuguese, the German really played a full 90 minutes and was on the pitch for only one purpose. He was the trigger to unleash the runners on the counter and speed up transitions. Mesut Ozil celebrates with Cristiano Ronaldo and Karim Benzema after scoring for Real Madrid in 2013. Image, Dennis Doyle, Getty Images The sale of Ozil is very bad news for me, said Ronaldo after the German moved to the Emirates in 2013. He was the player who best knew my moves in front of goal. I'm angry about Ozil leaving. At Arsenal, without the likes of Ronaldo, Karim Benzema and Angel Di Maria to hog the spotlight, he has been given more freedom to explore his own game, albeit with a less defined role backed up by the rigidity and discipline of Mourinho's Madrid. To some extent, he may have lost focus. For Germany, he plays another role again. Allowed to float about and pick up positions in space, he is a high-class node in a network of similar players, even if he is still eyed as the greatest among them with regards to his passing range and ability to make something happen. Yet, Lowe's vision for the national team is more of a homogeneous blob than the freewheeling band of artists that Wenger tried to inspire to greatness at Arsenal. At the 2014 World Cup, Ozil was largely ineffectual as an individual in his own right but was still appreciated by his manager and teammates as they won the tournament together. Fans of the Gunners expect more from him although it should be noted that he has not been spared in the aftermath of the loss to Mexico back home. There are only so many times that the team can be blamed for one player's failure to deliver before the assumptions behind the rationalizations need to be questioned. Ozil has started every single tournament game for Germany since the 2010 World Cup. Mesut Ozil responds to Germany's defeat against Mexico. Image, Brian Pierce, Getty Images, after signing a new deal at Arsenal, he is set to be a key player for Emery. Jack Wilshere's decision to walk away from the club will also mean that the Germans' favorite number 10 shirt will finally be available. If the Spaniard is to charge others with providing the rigor and systematic support that his advocates demand he is given then the 29-year-old must not only provide moments of genius but produce them with the consistency of a truly world-class performer. Emery has formed for finding a way to free up his best creators though. Sevilla, Ever Benega was a busy presence behind the striker but was still allowed to do less in order to do more. The alternative is that he justifies himself by doing the dirty work that is meant to be beyond him, and that his talent is supposed to transcend, as is the argument for the role he plays for Germany. Watching Ozil fail to affect the game against Mexico didn't feel like a one-off but the repeat of so many of his most mediocre matches in an Arsenal shirt. It has long since become tedious to ponder the Ozil question. What's needed now is a solution. Your move, an eye. Keep up to date with the latest news, features and exclusives from Football London via the free Football London app for iPhone and Android. Available to download from the App Store and Google Play.